earth fault loop impedance test. Now what we've got here on the mega is it's a screen area and we've got our line to earth and line to neutral tests. We do both of these tests because a short circuit can happen between either potential. First of all, we'll throw it on to line to earth and by default it comes up with our three lead low current tests. That's what the three LO stands for. Now this test is specifically designed not to trip your RCDs or to give you the best chance not to trip them. It's never guaranteed. Uh, so you'd use this test on the load side of your RCD circuit, so on your socket circuits. And then if you push the select button here, you can go between the other two lead tests on here. So there's two high and two low. First of all, the two lead high current tests you want to do on the line side of your RCDs in the switchboard. So we're going to be testing from the line side of the main switch to ensure that if there was a short circuit, all of the switchboard gear could stand up to the current that would be produced from it. The two high test is the most accurate one, but it's definitely going to trip your RCDs if you're throwing it on them. So it doesn't work. Now the next one is your too low and you shouldn't really be using this test. What it's designed for is if you've only got phase earth available and you need to do a low current test somewhere. Now on here, flick it to line neutral. The only test available is your two lead high current test. So when we're doing these tests, we want to do one at the switchboard to ensure that the circuit protection is going to work under fault conditions. And then we do our second test at the further socket from the installation to ensure that the longest path has an impedance low enough to operate the circuit protection under fault conditions. So our first test here we'll be doing will be our two lead high current test. And we're going to go on the line side of the main switch there. We've got it on line to earth. So what we're going to want is to put one into the line and one into the earth of this. Here goes our earth lead, and we'll hook this one onto the earth bar, throw our red lead in, and put it on the line side of the main switch. And then we just simply push test. So this reading here that we've come up with is our impedance, and then the one above it is our prospective short circuit current. So that is just Voltage over impedance, so 230 divided by 1.17 equals 196 amps. So this fault current produced is going to be high enough to trip the circuit protection. It's lower than that 6 kilo amp rating on the switch gear. Now with our impedance result, you want to go through and verify under table 8.1 whether or not your circuit protection is adequate to disconnect within 0.4 seconds. Just so you guys are aware, this installation plugged in to this cable, or well, the impedance reading is quite high. This lead I've got it running off is probably a good 50 meters from the main switchboard. It does go back through a DB into the main switchboard. MEN link in here is just for demonstration. As a distribution board, you would only have the MEN link in if it had a separate main earth. But that's expected because of our distance. So the next test we'll be doing is going to be our neutral. But we'll be doing our two lead high on the neutral. So we put this one on the neutral bar. Change the setting. The line to neutral. And we're ready to test. Exactly the same reading. I don't think the reading is going to get any better than that. All right, so now we'll do our second test, and that's going to be from the farthest socket from the installation. Obviously, this one's pretty close by. First of all, we'll do our line to earth test. Now, this one here, because it's on the load side of the RCD, it will have to be your three lead low current test, which is default, and hit test. 1.11 ohms, 208 amps. Then we put it on line to neutral. Now line to neutral test is always your two lead high current test because it's the most accurate and fastest test you'll be able to do. You can't change it. The high current test on the neutral is not going to trip your RCD. 1.05 ohms. So what I've got here is a socket that's much closer to the point of supply. So I'll just do one here to show you what sort of results we do expect. And there we go, that's a much lower impedance. It's much closer to the point of supply. 
and of course there's a higher perspective fault current that's going to be produced 